game kind of... Back when they... Oh, I don't want to go down there already. Back when they played this game before, it gave me more of a... cartoonish flash vibe, I say. A lot more upbeat and energetic. Without much serious tones. Even if the, the music now kind of feels like it's become a bit more serious. Why so serious? I guess that's what I'm trying to say. But you know, I like this... This is a... You can tell that this song was pretty much redone from before. If you, if you want, just look up Jackie K. Tries Freedom Planet. You can either do Jackie K. Tries Freedom Planet or Jackie K. Tries Again Freedom Planet. I have a video working. Go to this part of the level and you'll get an idea of what I'm talking about when I say the music is different. And I actually like this version of this song better. Because I... I'll admit that the earlier part in Dragon Valley, I kind of like the old version better, but this part, I'm really liking it. <sighs> Yay, I took my first hit! Not counting the breaking of my shield. <laughs> there seems to be a few new mechanics that might have been in one of the demos I didn't try. Like the whole Cyclone thing, pretty much acting like a double jump. This dropkick's definitely new. Yay, a little pity pet! And those pity pets get you the extra lives. I do like how the game teaches you how to break those objects, if only by accident. Because I know there was something I actually complained about with one of the first times I tried about tried this game out. The whole concept of it being kind of weird to try to work. What am I trying to say? Figuring out that you're supposed to like knock down the logs like that, I don't think I figured it out as quickly as Airman could. So I believe that area acts like an introduction now to the whole mechanic, and I like that. I like when games teach you how to do things without being all tutorial-ish. I find myself I'm not using her special attack that much anymore, though. Um, I guess that works too. But you see, the one of the big, one of the whole mechanics, gimmicks, whatever you want to call it, about this game that I'm really shocked they didn't talk about until now. Is there? I like special attack here. If you press the special button, you pretty much dash yourself up into the air. And you bounce across anything you come across along the way. I don't know what it is about this version of the game that makes me not use that as much. I know in previous demos of the game, it's like, Ooh, this is really cool! And then you spam it every second I get. But I guess kind of because, maybe because of Cyclone. Because I don't really need it as much when I can use Cyclone to, like, correct my jumps. That would be an... Ob apparent way of putting it. Let me see if I can effectively use that to get up here. Oh, uh, hello, Worm. We're made again. <laughs> so yeah, that enemy's reminder of, hey, I'm not dead yet. I just had to try to cat attack him out of curiosity because I wasn't sure if he did anything. Oh yeah, swimming. Swimming is definitely new. I think it was in the last demo I played, but I know it wasn't in the first demo I played. And I can see this whole oxygen tank thing that's in the little corner there. I'm not sure, but this game definitely has a lot more of the whole adventure exploring concepts than games that w this used to be a comparison to, which I told everyone I said I would never compare again, but I just did. Oh. I think I backtracked again. Welp. I went around a huge <laughs> turny turning circle. So much for having this be a short level. Remember something about this game back when I first played it? The whole game lost thing. Yeah, good times. I think I'm going for that deja vu again. I think you can tell by the timer, but... Well, you know, my gut was right. You climb up the logs and I get to a new area. 
Who would have guessed? Oh, I definitely did guess, as you can tell by the freaking timer. I could have sworn that would have finished off the job, but apparently not. Whatever. Nope. Oh, come on. Okay, and now I... Oh, I didn't even need a boost because I can just hit this thing. I could if I could actually aim my jumps correctly. There we go. Oh, hello, boulder. You gonna help me help again? Yes, the boulder is gonna help. Ah, good times with the boulder. Makes me... I've played this level so many times. And, you know, I think we wonder what happens. When... I wonder what's gonna happen when I actually do a new level. I wonder if it'll make or break my feelings towards the game or not. For some dumb reason, the new stuff kind of is already making me f feel different towards it. But whatever the case may be, if I think I know what's gonna happen next, yep, run away from the giant butt rolling boulder and get hit by it because I climb up hills. When going around them would have been a faster option, but the game says no, we'll no the book way. Look at all that carnage, this one single rock is causing. No, 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 don't want to die, don't want to die today! Oh, boy. <sighs> and here it comes. Just like Ghetto Dice. And I still seem to be sucking as much. Ha! Maybe I'm not sucking as much. Maybe I'm actually getting smarter for once. Me being good at this game? Who would have guessed? And I know that I'm not trying very hard to avoid the attacks, and for some reason I'm taking a preference to just tanking it. That's probably not good, especially since this is the first boss of the game. And it's given me hard times in the past. Whatever. Good boy! Kaboom! <laughs> Some things never change, like the fun of watching that robot snake blow the snarl pole up. Let me guess more cutscenes. How many chasers are left? Tell me! You didn't say please! Play games with me, duckling! Tell me! Fine, be that way. Shah! Where's that blasted snake mount? I guess we'll have to do this the hard way! I can do this all day! What is this hideous creature? Death? Oh no! The duck man comes with me! I'm not gonna let you eat him! What? What the? <laughs> Too easy! Whoa, that was a close one. Thank you, Miss, um... Uh... Lilac. Miss Lilac. Are you okay? I saw a huge explosion back there. You've been following me this whole time, haven't you? Duh. I take it you know this guy. Girl. This girl? <laughs> She's like my tail. Always right behind me. Carol the Wildcat, at your service. And this is Lilac. Well, I'm Tork. I'm a shell duck. Shell duck? It's more of a nickname. I'm not exactly from around here. So what are you doing out here? The skies haven't been safe for days. Someone is about to steal the Kingdom Stone and I have to stop them. The Kingdom Stone? That's impossible. Yeah, only I could steal it. You wish. Well, it's already happening. 
Marizawa's sending troops in disguise to the ancient temple. I have to warn them. Carol and I are pretty fast. We could run over there for you. Seriously? Yup, I've got a motorcycle and she's a dragon. They're like super fast. Turn straight. Well, it's worth a shot. Hurry over there before it's too late. What about you? I'll catch up with you as soon as I find all my stuff. Right. Come on, Carol. And so our plot begins. General Gong! You too again? It's nice to see you too. We have to talk to you. The Kingdom Stone is in danger! Don't be ridiculous. Nothing gets past my nose. Will you just listen for a minute? What is the meaning of this? We mean no disrespect. We're just you trying to- You heard what the General said. There's nothing to worry about. But, but don't make me repeat myself. Well, they sound like they know what they're doing. Why don't we just charge up and go home, huh? What do you say? Mm, I don't know. I feel like they're hiding something from us. Like a giant streamroll train? Of death? Hurrah for new level time! If you pardon me one sec, I want to make sure this capture quality is possible, so we are taking a little break. <laughs> 